Hi, I'm Nancy with Notions Marketing, and I'm going to talk to you today about the techniques and tools used for mono printing on fabric. And the fabric you make, you're going to be able to use in your quilting. So some of the tools that we're going to use are going to be stencils from Joggles. So there is the 9 by 12 stencils. She also has 6 by 9 stencils for smaller formats and stencils with masks. The stencils and masks are going to be able to create really cool designs because you get the flowers and then you also get the stencil that's left behind. The important tool we're going to use is also the gel press plates. So these are a very squishy plate and I'll explain that in a bit. It comes in 12 different sizes. This comes with the three different shapes, so the circle, square, and triangle. It also comes in circles. This is your six inch circle. The one we're going to use today is the 8x10 gel press. The paint that we're going to use is the Dilutions paint. This is an acrylic paint that is very fluid, is going to be permanent on your fabric, and is not going to change the hand of your fabric, and it will be totally washable. Another paint that we're going to use is the Liquitex Iridescent Medium. That's just going to get things a little bit of shine. So we're going to start by opening our paints. You're gonna, this is the gel press. So the gel press has a squishy texture to it and that's what's gonna be able to create the designs that we get. We're gonna take a little bit of paint. You're gonna dab it down onto your plate. Paper towel, clean off my paint stick. Now I'm gonna pick up another color. And just because it will be fun, I'm gonna add an iridescent medium to my plate also so there'll be a little bit of sparkle and shine on this fabric when I'm done. Now I'm going to take my speedball brayer and I'm going to lift and roll the paint. So I'm going to start down here with one color. When I get this blended quite well I'll start to move up and pick up that second color so I'll have a little ombre effect. If I feel that there's too much paint on the roller I'll just take my roller over to the paper and get some of that paint off. Then I can go back to spreading it around. I want to be sure that I cover all my areas and that it's spread nicely. Now I'm going to take the stencil. Oops, I'm going to clean off my palette, my brayer. I'm going to take my stencil, lay my stencil right on top of the gel press, take another piece of paper, and lightly rub on the paper. That's going to pick up some of the paint between the stencil. Now pull off my stencil. Now I'm going to use a piece of white PFD fabric that's prepared for dye fabric. Any fabric will work as long as you have washed it to get the sizing out of it. Now I'm going to press with my hands, getting all the way to the edges to pick up the paint. And there is my design, so I could use that in any quilt I'm making. Here are some other designs that Barb Donahue has made from Joggles. We made these at Quilt Market, and she was able to use a couple of different colors. I hope you enjoyed this technique and try it at your store.